the leaven and foundation. That's a fact. Jonathan Whitney, everybody who's putting this together. You'll see Jay Street around here taking pictures. Odell got me sounding like the Lord's son. Listen, out here, listen, these are all the people. City Fest. Oh man, public works got your water in the back. Go and get yourself, stay hydrated. Because if you pass out, it's too much paperwork. So please stay hydrated, okay? Because I'm not feeling, I'm acting like I ain't see it. So go ahead. <laughs> Listen, we got public works in the back. And if you need it flavored, you better get go, go, go see Ada. That's what? I'm, I'm going to trademark that. If you need it flavored, go see Ada. She got the water ice right off to the side, people. This is so that y'all can make sure that y'all enjoy yourself and y'all stay hydrated. That's what we want to do. Now, with that said, now, now, now I done took y'all through some Frank and Beverly. I done, I, I done gave y'all some of that. Now, hold up. Now I tell people, I often tell people, if you give me a word, I give you a poem. And people, when, when I say that, they look at me just like her. She's just eating them chips like, oh, word, that's what you do? <laughs> you gonna give me a poem? That sounds cute. Okay, okay. <laughs> Listen, I'm used to it now. I get used to that look. That look is like, oh, okay. This is what we're going to do. That's fine. I'm here for it. So, this is what I want to do. I'm going to do a thing. Odell, take me to the, to the last one on there. I just want that in the background for me. I want that to little bop in the background. I want a little background. Now, with that said, can somebody give me a word? Constitution. You want me to get, listen, I'm going to do it though. Okay, I'm going to do it. He said Constitution. Woo! I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, it should be a law that we are able to honor each other, respect each other without having to judge one another, without me having to look down upon my brother or risk being judged by my brother all of a sudden. See, something tells me that that wasn't written up. I mean, it should be a law for us to be able to get along or me not to judge you when you're wrong or me to understand that no matter how many times you trip and you fall, I promise you life goes on. But most people don't even want to receive that. See, it's not a law and I almost can't believe that, that we should be able to connect with each other and not be divided by how someone else chooses to act. Being lost in opinions while ignoring facts. See, I'm not trying to slow nobody's road, but I'm just tired of watching everybody stroll when it's not time to laugh. It should be a law. In fact, maybe one day it can be at least an added addendum. I don't understand why people can't grow with each other by learning where each other is from. Oh because everybody wanna be fighting for crumbs while those who got them know how to eat the whole cake in the big sum. This ain't a math problem. This is a us problem. This is a we problem. This is a why do they pit me against she and we against we problem. All of a sudden they trying to figure out how to judge me in different ways and then I, I'll turn on the internet and it tells me I'm not good enough every day. Oh. Now I understand sometimes it happens within the words and the notions within the energy of things they don't say. I get it. I don't judge you if you choose to pray to a cricket. I don't want to be living. I don't want to be mad and I don't want to be angry for it. I just want to be the best me I can be and I want you to be the best you and not just ignore it. Trust me, you can pour it. You got a little bit of extra, you can afford it. As long as you provide enough self-love that you're not falling off, that you're not trying to figure out how you're paying the cost and you're trying to understand why it's all almost gone. Oh, I get it. It's because it should be a law. It should be a law to love yourself, to be able to help yourself, to find ways to do more than just get praise and divine praise, but to spend your days building generational wealth. That should be a law too. Matter of fact, they should have written that way back, what, 1842? Back when I was a third of who? <laughs> okay, okay, I know I'm speaking too much truth. I just want y'all to understand what the laws were supposed to be because the laws should have included me when it said we can all be free. Sheesh. I just want a soul to that, that I can speak. I understand what I'm trying to say to you. These are just my thoughts over Jonathan Whitney. I just need you to understand that I'm thinking 
for you because I'm speaking from me and I'm hoping that it seeps through. See, what I want for you and me is joy and happiness consistently for everyone. And that should be law in the Constitution. All right? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, you know I did it, you know I did it, I do that. You know, shouts out. By the way, in case anybody is unaware, I'm gonna let y'all know. That song that was behind me, in case y'all want to find it out, that's called Thoughts by a gentleman named Jonathan Whitney. That's a fact, it's available on all streaming services. Yes, Jonathan, I did that to you, I don't care. But that's a fact, that's called Thoughts uh, Go, because that's just my thoughts on what I've been thinking, all right? Again, make some noise, everybody. Y'all yeah. having a good time? Yeah. That's a fact, that's a fact. <laughs> I, love, I, I, I love this moment and these people we can have together. I don't know what Martin is bringing around here. I don't know if it's, I don't think it's for me, but that, oh, he's bringing tables. Okay, listen, just so y'all know, again, I like for everybody to be able to come together and have a great time and enjoy each other, right? I gotta give a special shout out. When I gave a shout out to Jay, I gave a shout out to Jay earlier, but he didn't know I was gonna come back to him because Naj and Jay had their fourth year. What? Yeah, you know it, y'all did a fourth year anniversary. I need y'all to understand, we have some great media outlets in Delaware. Right, we have some great things going on. Some of y'all prefer rocking with DETV. Rock out, right? Why you do that? <laughs> why you do that? Don't play with me, Jay. Don't play with me, Jay. Not why you always like to do it when I'm on stage. Anyway, why you do that? Also, check out Naj and Jay. Right, they're gonna tell you about the things that's going on in the grit of the city. Right? Check out G Dash Jones, hats off. I'm always interviewing somebody happening in the city. I do this to promote what we doing, right? I do this to show y'all how we can connect, how we can all come together in a different type of way, okay? With that said, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna do one last piece. I wasn't gonna do a piece, but I'm gonna do one last piece. And what do I wanna deal with? I wanna know, hold on. Sir in the family, cause you, that hat right there is smooth. There's a lot of nice hats in the building, by the way. But that little cream kango boy, you uh, you wasn't playing with him today. I know, yeah, he know he wasn't playing with that cream kango. He know that that cream kango. I need one of them. What? Boy, well, smooth, ain't the chain, boy. I tell you to get him back in the you can get him. You can tell him time to get that cream kango, you can get him. Listen, <laughs> listen, y'all remember when Obama had the cream suit and the tie? Y'all know it. See, that's the kango. The cookie. Throw that on Obama with that cream tie. I'm trying to tell you, he set it off. But oh, listen, Michelle would never let him walk out the house with that hat. <laughs> oh man, listen. But brother, I want to know. I'm gonna ask you a question. When's your birthday? August. August. August what? Third. Oh, well, happy belated birthday. It was last month. Okay, okay. August third. You were Leo, my Leo brother. Boom, fist bumping that. Okay, shout out. Y'all, I know, Leo's making about us. We do, okay? We just did that. My fault, I forgot y'all all was here. Anyway, okay? <laughs> With that said, oh man. And, and, and Odell, just so you know, I am gonna play that first one. I am, but I, I wasn't planning on it, but I am, because I feel like I'll tell you when I want it, though. I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, oh, this is the moment we have gathered here for. I would say that it's just about me, but there's a little bit of you that's with me, and therefore this is a moment I can't ignore. This is a once in a lifetime situation. I just came to restore all of your faith and see, this is why I'm here. I'm here to show you that you can love yourself so much that sometimes you look up to the sky and you might shed one single tear. Woo. You can love yourself so much that you ain't gotta worry about why you had so many so much anxiety and so many fears. See, you can love yourself so much that when they say, no, I'm good, or you not my type. Matter of fact, it's fine. That just means she on the wrong gear. Okay, I'm gonna shift it over there. Okay, see, I don't get lost in the stairs or when I feel like life isn't fair. I just know that when I'm before you, this is nothing but me giving you my soul to bear. Let me tell you why I'm here. See, I'm here because when you was born under the heat of the sun, you don't, you're not afraid of how hot it can get. <laughs> See, I don't care if it started in July or ended in August, either way, I promise you, by, uh, when I'm done, what I will have done, you will have applauded what I've accomplished. See, I just have to acknowledge 
born under the summer sun, and sometimes the experience is a little bit different. They don't understand why, they don't ask no questions, but I promise you I won't tell you a lie when you feel this. Yes, because I can look in the mirror and be like, oh, that's what's up. Matter of fact, I can look in the mirror and know why I'm never giving up. When I look in the mirror, I see why I'm giving you all that I got because this is love. See, I want you to mark down the moment and understand every word, whether it's year around, how it cycles around. I promise you, we can start from the second and end on the third. This is what it's meant to be so you don't get lost and too disturbed. This is how you're supposed to feel it and hang off of every word. I'm doing this because you are here with me and you make me feel so great. Oh, you make me eliminate the hate. You make me not have to worry about what can happen tomorrow when I wake. You make me have to understand why I am blessed by this state. You make me understand why my presence wasn't a mistake. Yes. You make me hold on, keep going, and I can't give up. Hey, Odell, show them why I love him so much. Jazz Reach Meta Quintet, as well as one more. Listen, to be determined, one of them secret situations, I ain't gonna tell nobody, probably because I don't know. Either way, <laughs> either way, oh man, we about to, uh, I'm gonna wrap this up. It's my time, I appreciate you all. I would ask you to clap for me, but I would rather you clap some clap for yourself. So make some noise for yourself one more time, y'all. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We'll be tough. Yeah. Come on now, your numbers have increased. Let's do that one more time. Will we time? Yeah. Oh, I love that sound. All right. All right, everybody, we're about to do it right here. Got a couple of announcements I want to make. First of all, please come back next week for celebration of Black Joy right here on this stage. Also next week, we have the City Fest Dance Jubilee on this stage from September 19th to the 21st, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. And I want to thank our sponsors. That's the 11th Amp Wilmington Music Series, the Foundation, Mid-Atlantic Arts Foundation, Jazz Touring Network, the Kinney Foundation, and ShopRite. Also want to thank the City of Wilmington Mayor Mike Kuzicki, City Fest Incorporated, Delaware Division of the Arts and Colonial Parking, as well as the Christiana Cultural Center. I want to thank my team. Tish Williams, Jonathan Whitney, Tina Betts. In the booth is Odell. And now we have it for you. This band was here last year during the City, uh, City Fest Clifford Brown Jazz Festival. After hearing them at Clifford Brown Jazz Festival, I hopped in my car and I followed them all the way down to Atlantic City to hear them again, just to make sure that it was real. And it's real. Come on in. Stand in the way. standing here right to my left has just finished a hot performance in Philadelphia at the Man Music Center playing with Mr. Gerald Beasley. You guys know Gerald Beasley? You yeah. met him right here on this stage last year. And so now, without further delay, I want to introduce to you one of my favorite Wilmington bands. Ladies and gentlemen, Loud Tizer! Microphones. Yeah. All right. How's everybody doing? Welcome to a gorgeous night. I hear that uh, there's been a few rainouts in the series, so I'm glad for those of us that hail from Southern California, we were able to bring our normal Southern California weather out here. Uh, not quite what we've been having lately, but um, yeah, pleasure to be here in Wilmington. We always love coming to town, and uh, an honor to be joined by an outstanding. Uh, outstanding collection musicians. So first of all, on the drums from Rhode Island by way of New York, and actually he has roots here in Philly, right? You were born in California? Oh, well, see, I'm just getting to know him, obviously. Mr. Joel Rosenblatt on the drums. We've only been friends for 10 years and I just found out he was born in California. Uh, from DC by way of Senegal, Outstanding bassist, producer, composer, Mr. Sheikh Indoy. And a 
of course, my good friend, the incomparable Miss Karen Briggs on violin. Yeah. I should mention from now Charlotte. And uh, we have one more who will be out in a few. We're going to play a set of almost all original uh, music. Uh, we have a brand new album called Amplified that just came out on August 23rd. Those will be available after the show. Um, and uh, super stoked about the project and so glad it's out. It is long overdue. So uh, we're actually going to kick the show off with a couple tunes from our previous album and then get into the new material. Uh, this is called The Source.
How about it for Karen Briggs, everybody? Yay! All right. So as I mentioned, we have one more member uh, with us tonight <clears throat> who is also with us here at the uh, Clifford Brown Jazz Festival, which, by the way, is one of the great festivals in this country. So you guys should know how lucky you are to have that here in Wilmington. It keeps getting better every year, so such a great event, and uh, kudos to them for putting that on for you guys for free. Yeah. Having something yeah. free, just like this, so that's, uh, that's super cool. Um, anyway, from American Idol, uh, from Los Angeles, by way of Richmond, Virginia, by way of Los Angeles, my good friend Mr. Elliot Yamin on vocals. Right. It is such a joy and pleasure to be back here in Wilmington at this beautiful space. Uh, we're going to uh, get into some original music uh, from our new album that just came out. Say, that was original. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's uh, some new original stuff. This is, uh, going to slow it down a bit. This is a tune called Shades of Love.
Miss Karen Briggs on the violin. How about that? Yeah. Now earlier, yes. earlier my man G Dash, where you at G Dash? Sort of alluded to what uh, we're gonna get into here with this tune. Um, this song right here talks about us coming together as one. All right. We were uh, we were just in Philadelphia last night. We literally stayed right next door to the debate. us to tell you that we're in some polarizing times right now in this country. A lot of division, uh, a lot of hate, hate speech. Uh, one of the beautiful things about music is that it's a language we all speak, and it brings us all together, right? No matter what you look like, what you believe in, who you vote for, none of that matters right here, okay? And that's what this song talks about. While we're on the subject, 23 years ago today, our whole world changed on 9 11. So, I want to take this opportunity to thank all the, the men and women that we lost and all the first responders and, uh, who, who, uh, who ran in to, uh, to help those in need on that day. Um, sometimes it feels like it just happened yesterday. But this song is called Why. It talks a lot about just us coming together as one, you guys, all right? Y'all feel me? We gotta be able to listen to one another. We gotta be able to talk to each other, understand each other, respect one another, okay? And that's what we're gonna in the song. It's called Why, all right?
So Ellie and I came in from, from L.A., and of course, you know, now that we're uh, mature adults, we don't like to fly red eyes anymore. I used to do that back in the day. But so we came in. I booked our hotel in the city like a, a few weeks ago, and just by happenstance, I'm texting with my cousin. He's like, oh, dude, you better, like, you might need to take the train into the city when you get in. The debate's going to be there. And I looked it up, and I'm like, it's a block around the corner from our hotel. So that might be the closest I ever get to the vice president or president. Uh, but it was pretty cool to be there, and uh, I hope you all watched it. I think Saturday Night Live is going to be lit. <laughs> That's all I can say. We don't want to talk politics here. Just watch SNL. I'm sure we'll be worth it. Uh, we're going to do a tune of Karen's. Uh, this is a great arrangement she did of a very famous Russian composed, uh, composer named Rimsky Korsakov. And uh, this is from Arabian Nights. I think many of you will recognize it. This is her arrangement, and it's a very cool one of Scheherazad. This is called Scheherazad's Groove.
Thanks, everybody. So, you guys all having a good time? Yeah. How about this weather? Love it. Yes. It's like actually a chill in the air. Kind of crazy. Um, so we've got time for a few more. As I mentioned at the top, we have this new record out called Amplify. I just want to tell you a real quick bit about it. So it was recorded and filmed all live in the studio uh, with a seven camera video shoot. And it's all these musicians plus a whole bunch of others. There's horn section, there's background vocals, there's uh, a couple different sax players, there's guitar, there's percussion. It's really quite a project. Um, so we hope you'll check those out. And there will be CDs available on this table. Although they're not there now. They will be there at the end of the show. And uh, if you haven't heard, music has gone digital. So this is like super cutting edge technology. And uh, so if you want to take those home, um, come see us after the show. Uh, anyway, this tune was the last instrumental that I finished for the project. Actually, the last tune that I finished writing for the project. And uh, I always like to say a couple words because pretty much everything that has happened for me in the last two and a half years has been tied to the birth of my daughter. Um, my wife and I welcomed our first uh, in February of 2022, just as we're all coming out of the pandemic. Thank you. And uh, she's kind of been the story behind most of this, the tunes I've written since. And, and this one, um, she was sitting next to me at, uh, in my studio uh, on the piano bench, and, and uh, I started playing an idea, and she started bopping around, and there you go, it turned into this. So uh, this one is for our beautiful little Katya at home. And uh, this is called The Labyrinth.
All right, let's bring Mr. Elliot Yamin back to the stage. Yes. Come through the 
Thank you guys so much. We're gonna do the first single that we released uh, a couple months back. Um, this is off our new album. As Lau mentioned earlier, we have compact discs <laughs> available for your listening pleasure. So come see us after the show. Pick one up on your way home.
Lyle Tizer, what did I tell you? The Lyle Tizer group. Joel, Karen, Elliot, Shek, and Lyle Tizer. Can we, can we get them to do one more? You guys ready for more? Can we do one more? Yeah. Here we go. Let's hear it, guys. Yeah. We got one more for you. All right, guys. Well, being that this is kind of a moment, uh, momentous occasion, of course, being 9-11 and uh, a lot for us to all to remember and keep in perspective. And as we all talked about the election coming up and all the stuff going on, this is just a great reminder of community, right? Music brings us all together. Yeah. It bridges divides, religion, race, language, geography, all that. So let's remember that and let's stick together. And uh, with that in mind and in tribute to 9-11, um, I want to play uh, a piece that I didn't know I was going to put on the record. I actually wrote it while my wife was pregnant with our daughter and I thought it was just for me. I played it every day when she was pregnant and I played it the night she was born in the hospital. And... Um, I think it's fitting for this occasion. This is the last track on the new record, and uh, I'm just going to do a short solo rendition of it. This is called Lullaby. <laughs> Thank you. 
some merchandise he wants to offer to you. Come down and get a photo. Say hi. I have traveled this world. There are very few that have the level of talent and the kind heart that this man does. Valentizer is a beautiful person. Come down and meet him. Once again, we want to thank the Levitt Foundation, Middle Atlantic Arts Foundation, Jazz Touring Network, the Kinney Family Foundation, and ShopRite. Delaware Division of the Arts, Colonial Parking, the Christiana Cultural Arts Affair, City of Wilmington Mayor Mike Krasicki, and my team, Tina Betts, Tish Williams, Jonathan Whitney, I'm Martin Hargrove. Come back next week for the Jazz Dance Festival, City Fest Dance Jubilee, and Celebration of Black Joy. Thank you all, have a good night. <laughs>